Well, I will be paying tribute to Her Majesty the Queen uh, personally, but also on behalf of Scotland. And it will be an opportunity for me, but for the country as a whole, not just to pay tribute to Her Majesty today, but to convey our condolences to the King and to the wider royal family. Uh, today was, is, is a, an opportunity, as it was yesterday, for Scotland to express how much the Queen uh, meant to us. Scotland was a place she loved deeply, and I think it has been very poignant uh, to see Scotland uh, respond so uh, appropriately to her passing. Do you expect big crowds in Edinburgh today and tomorrow again when the, mm. the, the coffin is carried to the, 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 the airport? We had big crowds in Edinburgh and in many parts of Scotland uh, yesterday and that was lovely to see. It was a sad moment, uh, but nevertheless Scotland coming together to express its sorrow at the passing of the Queen uh, was, I think, uh, a lovely moment to observe. I would expect big crowds again today. Uh, people will want to continue to express their sorrow at the Queen's death, but this is also an opportunity today for Scotland to convey condolences directly to the King and the Royal Family. I would uh, encourage people to uh, come along to be part of this occasion, uh, but to, as was the case yesterday, to do it safely and responsibly uh, and be patient and, of course, above all, be respectful. And how important is the motion of condolence in the Scottish Parliament and what you and the other party leaders have to say in the King's response? Well, I think the Scottish Parliament motion of condolence is an appropriate part of this overall uh, period of mourning for the Queen. The Queen was a great friend of the Scottish Parliament. She has been with us by our side at every key moment in the still relatively short history of the institution. She was there in 1999 when the Parliament reconvened. She has attended every official opening of the Parliament since then. She gifted us the mace that adorns our chamber today. So she has been a, a steadfast friend to the Scottish Parliament. So today is an opportunity for MSP speaking, I am sure personally, but also on behalf of the nation, to say how much she meant to us. And when she spoke at the opening last year, in October, Prince Charles, as he was then, was there, and it was almost as if she was passing on the torch of the support for the Scottish mm. Parliament within the royal household. Well, Prince Charles, as he was, King Charles, as he is now, has been with her in the Scottish Parliament on more than one occasion. That was certainly, I think, particularly prominent in October uh, last year. But one of the things that I think everyone has been full of respect and admiration for is that even as her health was very obviously declining, uh, the Queen was determined to continue to fulfil all of her duties because she had that deep, profound sense of public service. And in that, I think she set an exceptional example to all of us. And you will have your own audience with the new mm. King this afternoon. What would you expect that to be about? Well, as was the case with the Queen, those conversations, I am sure, will remain private and confidential, and that is something uh, I will respect. Um, but I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to uh, speak with the, the King. Uh, he has, as his mother did, a profound love of Scotland and uh, a very deep and detailed knowledge of Scotland, and I expect uh, that to be part of the conversations that we have.